I think we should talk. I always have time to listen to you, Kate. Good. Because this isn't easy for me to say, but I want to get it right. <sighs> Where do I begin? Did you know I spent three years fighting at the combat zone? Three years of getting beaten to hell by a bunch of losers and lunatics. After the matches were over, I'd spit out the blood, stitch me wounds, and do a couple of shots of Psycho to keep me going. I fucking hated it. I hated the crowds, I hated the other fighters, and I hated myself. I never understood why I put myself through all that. Until now. It was because I was alone. And I think deep down, I wanted to die. I wanted one of my opponents to crush the life out of me. The easy way out. Why are you telling me all of this now? Damn it. I've never been good at these things. My life's been nothing but one huge failure after another. You've heard all my stories, and you know the prices I've paid. There were a few times when things got really bad that I... I found myself staring down the barrel of my own shotgun. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger. I guess I was praying that I could find a single decent scrap of humanity in this fucked up world. And then, what you did for me back there at Fog 95, it was like the answer to those prayers. That's the first time in my life I fully depended on someone else, and they didn't let me down. God damn it, I'm making a mess of this. Do you need a minute to gather your thoughts? If so, I understand. No, I want to do this. Let me stop stalling and say what I wanted to say. The longer we've been spending time together, the more I'm beginning to realize what you mean to me. And I'm not just talking about you watching me back or sharing a drink together. I mean more than that. Before we met, I'd never let me guard down around anyone. I didn't dare. But with you, I feel like I can let you in and see me for everything that I am. For better or for worse. Look, I can't go back to the way things were before we met. I won't. But what I need you to do is look me in the eyes and tell me you feel something too. Of course I do. I'm in love with you, Kate. You... you're what? You said... you're in love with me? I... I didn't know. I mean, I felt something between us, but I thought it was something else. Why? Why would you fall in love with someone as screwed up as I am? Does it really matter why? No, I... I guess it doesn't. This has to be the first time I put all my cards on the table and didn't end up losing everything. You don't know how much this means to me. To have someone special in my life. I promise you, I mean to make the most of it. Hey. This bet. If something's on your mind, I'd love to hear about it. Your thoughts? Next person that asked me to shag is getting a well-placed kick. If you get my meaning. That was all. Sure. Look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. The gang certainly seem pleased with their new little king. I haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name's Shank. And if you're standing here, well, I suppose Gage figured you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long it take him to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? Let's get one thing straight here. It may have been his suggestion, but it'll be my decision. I can see that. Well, 
Regardless of the source, idea is a good one. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth, well, I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well, all you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. Okay. Let's get started. Music to my ears. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth's gonna require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First things first, territory. We're gonna need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from, an outpost. And there are two, or I can get a crew together and you all can, mm -hmm. you wanna talk them off their... Get a gang together. <laughs> Still, mm -hmm. Now, every... And none of them like the thought. Which gang you want? Uh -huh. The Disciples. Yeah? <laughs> Better bring a tarp. That just leaves the target. Now for a new outpost, you'll usually want to target a spot with Taffington Boat. Though I'll need to go through. We're not always good. So. I'm ready. Good. So, where are you want? Let me... Yup, that place will do. So, these sorts of jobs are pretty straightforward. Move in, kill everything in sight. I'll make sure you've got some backup waiting to lend a hand when you get there. Now you're not gonna be able... Can I help you? You ever heard of Nuka World? The theme park with all the raiders? Sure. Why? I'm here to make you an offer. This place will supply me and my friends a Nuka World. Caps, food, whatever you got. In exchange, we won't bother you. Oh. I don't know. A lot of hard work goes into this place. Can't just give it to you. <laughs> Listen. You're gonna start working for me now, all right? Just keep the supplies coming and we won't have any problems. I... fine. If it'll get you off my back. Now please, get the hell out of here. Hey there. Hey, I got a question for you. You looking to buy a Brahmin? Top quality, lowest price, guaranteed. Does this Brahmin really belong to you? What? What do you think? It's stolen or something? <laughs> nah, she's mine. Of course she's mine. Could be yours too, for a very reasonable price. Sure, I'll take her. Oh, great, great. Just tell me where you want me to send her and she's all yours. Good doing business with you, sister. I'm sure I'll see you around. They're threatening to tear the place apart if we don't get the hell out of there. It's cute, but irritating. Then I guess we'll just have to let them know who they're dealing with. You did good. Now get going. The adults are gonna discuss this. Figure this would happen sooner or later. Our outposts caught the attention of some of our new neighbors in the Commonwealth. An outside crew of raiders think we're honing in on their territory. Sounds like they're planning to tear the place up, and our people with it. Suppose this provides us a good opportunity to make an example. You thinking what I'm thinking? What can you tell me about this gang? Not a whole lot. Our scout said the boss calls himself Sinner. 
claims to have a decent sized crew ready to take what we stole fair and square. Suppose he just needs to learn who his betters are. So, are you and I of the same mind on how that ought to get done? Were you thinking about throwing an ice cream social too? Uh, wasn't my first idea. No. Look, boss. Raiders of the Commonwealth, all those mutts understand is force. And I'm thinking it's time you and them came to just such an understanding. But you should probably get going. You wouldn't want to keep our new friends be neighborly. 